Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you know, Valentine's Day is approaching and since this is a cold process hope project, I wanted to start early enough so in case you wanted to make something similar, you have enough time for the soap to cure because it needs to cure for four to six weeks. Today's project is a Valentine's Day soap cupcakes and I'm preparing the little hearts here as a decoration on top. I just melted down some clear melt and pour soap and I colored it. I added some glitter and then I just pour in my molds. I didn't use any fragrance here, I feel that's not necessary. And then I wait for about 15 minutes and then they are completely ready to unmold as you can see here. And I don't put my embeds into the fridge too hard and faster because I think that they tend to sweat more if you do so. Also, I like to prepare my embeds ahead of time, so whenever I'm ready for the decoration, I have it and ready to go. Also, what I like to prepare ahead of time is the piping bag, because sometimes when you're soaping, things go really fast and then it's better you have it prepared. So what I do is I pop in my piping tip. This is a disposable piping bag, but you can also use a non-disposable one, of course. And then I twist it like so, and then I basically turn the piping tip towards me in my hand and then I pop it into the container. That way I can comfortably fill the bag and the batter won't leak out. For color I'm using titanium dioxide premixed with warm water and really red pigment from Nurture Soap. For fragrance I'm using sweet almond and macaron. It's a nice fragrance and it doesn't discolor, which is important for this type of project today. So the lye water solution and the oils are at about the same temperature, not more than 10 degrees apart. So I add the lye water into the oils and then I give it a blend with a stick blender until it is emulsified. It means there are no streaks of oils visible in the batter. Then I'm going to split off the batch in two different containers so I can color them differently because obviously one is going to be the piping and then one is going to be the basis of the cupcakes. The titanium dioxide is obviously for the piping and it goes in this container here and then for the other I have this really red pigment from Nurture Soap and I want to see, I don't want to have it like completely red but more towards the red side so let's see how this turns out. I'm starting to stick blend first the white part. I'm always starting with lighter color so I don't need to clean my stick blender in between. As I said, this is the water soluble titanium dioxide, so I premix it with warm water, but you can also, of course, use the oil soluble one according to your preference. So now to the red part, it's a beautiful red color. It looks very vibrant. I absolutely love it. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And since this is a pigment and not a mica, I pre-mixed it with some lightweight oil. I like to do this because I feel that it mixes in better. And then I'm adding just a little bit of titanium dioxide just to get a little more a pinky hue. Just a little bit more and then it should be okay. This is the color that I was aiming for, like a delicate type of red. And now I'm adding the fragrance oil. This is a beautiful fragrance oil and it doesn't discolor at all. It's very important if you want to make like a very white or very light soap anyways. Like for example, I had a project here on my channel where I needed to make some cupcakes for a first communion. So the fragrance oil was really important that it would not discolor at all. I will leave a link in the right hand corner if you're interested to see that video. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna pour the red batter into this small little cupcake mold here, which is a mold that I got off of Amazon. And I will leave a link down in the description box if you're interested to see. I just think it's very practical and it's a cute size if you want to make some little gifts or giveaways. I like to use a tray underneath my mold so I can move the project around or give it a good tap as you can see here. And then the last thing I want to do, I just want to even out the soap and I'm using a cake server if you want to call it that way. Now we are definitely ready to prepare the piping. So I want to give it a little bit more of titanium dioxide because I want the frosting to be really white. 
I added the fragrance oil to this part here as well. And I'm just gonna show you a little bit how the consistency should look like when you want to pipe. It should hold on the spatula and for those who are interested I'm going to have very very soon here on my channel a video dedicated to the subject of piping, techniques, equipment, different aspects around it. So stay tuned for that. All right, so that's the piping bag I'm using today. I'm using a disposable one just because I had another project where I wanted to use the non-disposable one and then I'm just pressing out here. It's just a test how you could do it that way if you just press it without circling it around. And then here is another possibility. This is an open star and I like to use it. Of course, there are many piping tips that you could use. You can see here, for example, there is a French star. I also love it very much. Or you have like more of a closed star that gives a little bit a different shape. Then you have the round nozzles. Those ones are a little bit more difficult, so I wouldn't really start out with these. And then for the small cupcakes, you just need to do very small circles, of course. That's logical. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pipe all of these little ones. I think they look really cute. And I uh, just want to make sure that I have enough piping. I'm the type of person that always tends to freak out and think that I don't have enough piping when I'm coming towards the end. So I always prefer to have a little bit more butter and then you can do some samples with it or you can pipe on a cookie sheet and then have just a, a little piping that you can use as a sample or as a, you know, as a giveaway or things like this. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit glitter. This is uh, some biodegradable glitter. It's really important that you use biodegradable. And I'm just giving it a good dusting just to add a little bit of sparkle. And then remember we had this little heart embeds here and I'm just gonna stick it on. I remove my gloves to do that. Um, that's actually not really orthodox, but um, I'm just um, being very, very careful just because I feel I can't control the embeds if I have my gloves on. So if you decide to do it like me, just be very careful that you don't touch the fresh soap. And here they are, so the only thing left to do is to wait for 24 hours and then we're gonna have a look how they unmold. And it's the next day and this is how they turn out. I think they're really cute. This year I'm gonna have some special Valentine gift boxes that I'm going to show you very soon here on my channel. Also some other projects and products that I'm going to include for Valentine's Day. So stay tuned for that. I think it's gonna be very cool. And if you're interested in more soap making videos or skincare DIY, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I will leave some videos here that you might find interesting. I see you around very soon. And in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye bye.